The package and sign feature is used to attach a digital certificate to the database here to verify that whoever you're sending it to, that you're the source, that you're actually who you are. Because we wouldn't want to open up a database from somebody who we didn't know and trust because it has all this coding that can shut down and destroy our computer. Also, this will compress all the objects in the database into a .accdc file package, which makes it nice if it's compressed. It doesn't take as long to email it than if it was uncompressed. In any case, before we can go ahead and use the package and sign feature, we have to create a digital VBA certificate. How do you create one? Well, you would actually go online and search for a third party CA or certificate of authority, somebody who provides digital VBA certificates, and then go ahead and pay whatever fees that they have and then follow their instructions to install it on your computer. Because if I go ahead and try to do it without that digital VBA certificate, like come up here, click on the file tab, go down to save and publish, come over here and click on package and sign, and then click on save as, it goes, uh, we don't have a certificate, otherwise if we did have one and we installed it on the computer, it would list it here. Let me go ahead and click cancel. Now I'm not going to go ahead and go through a third party here, but I recommend that you do, and I'll tell you why in just a second. But to go ahead and create that uh, digital certificate, I'm going to come down here, click on the Start button, go to All Programs, scroll down and go to my Microsoft Office here, scroll down and select Microsoft Office 2010 Tools, and click on Digital Certificate for VBA Projects. Now you can see in that pop-up that this program, this program creates a self-signing digital certificate. Now self-signing means that it's only valid on the machine that you signed it on. So if I send this off, this application off to somebody else, it's not going to work. So in any case, I'm bringing this up so you can have an idea of what to expect. So you want to do some research. In any case, let's go ahead and click on it to open it up. And it says, what's your certificate's name? Let's call it the Curt Database Certificate or DB. Click OK. And then it says it was successfully created. Go ahead and click OK. And again, it's only valid for this computer. So to go ahead and package and sign it now, now that we have a digital certificate, click on the File tab, go to Save and Publish, come over here, click on Package and Sign, click on Save As, there's mine, Kurt DB. Going to go ahead and click OK. Now it opens it up, and it's going to go ahead and compress the contents of my database here into another file type. Instead of the .accdb, it's now the .accdc. So it's going to go ahead and compress it into this different file type and also be digitally signed. So go ahead and click Create. It's going to create it in my uh, Exercises folder. And that's it. Let me go ahead and close out of here. Go to my Exercises folder. And there it is. In fact, it's kind of small here. Let me click and drag it outside. And you can see that little uh, ribbon there. That means it's digitally signed. Now because I used the digital signature that came with Microsoft Office here, it's only valid for this computer. Well, if I go ahead and send it off, then it's not valid. So I have to have somebody else come to my computer and log on later and say, okay, this was by me, from me, from this computer. In any case, we can go ahead and double click and open it up. And then it says, note the digital signature is valid, but the signature is from a publisher whom you've not yet chosen to trust. Do you trust me? <laughs> go ahead and click trust all from the publisher. And then when you do that, it wants to decompress what was compressed inside that .accdb. In which case, let me go ahead and select the desktop, click okie dokie. It extracts it from the .accdc, and it opens up, and that's what we're looking at. And I extracted it to the desktop, so when I close out, you can see the difference between the two. The one that's signed, that's compressed, and the one that, after I opened it up and I trusted it, decompressed it, extracted it over here to the side of my desktop. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.